So if they managed to get rid of tobacco, they've managed to get rid of all of it, obviously, which is probably the major reason why we'll not give up smoking. And it's why one of the major reasons why I suggest that any smokers out there don't give up smoking either. Because um, as we all know, you know, um, uh, cannabis is not a gateway drug at all. I don't think it's a gateway drug remotely. However, I think tobacco most certainly is a gateway drug. Because um, if you were to start smoking weed in Europe... I think you'd almost certainly already be a smoker of tobacco. I mean, you get this phenomenon of um, non-nicotine consuming or non-smoker stoners in the United States. But I think in Europe, at least, it'd be very, very uncommon to find that. And I think in most cases, like the real introduction to smoking is usually with tobacco. Then you move on to like more advanced smoking, like smoking weed. And you know what? If tobacco is a gateway drug that leads to weed, right? Well, then it should obviously be encouraged. If my you know, kids started smoking tobacco, I'd be like, hopefully they'll end up smoking weed. I mean, but yeah, I mean, this is just why they want to get rid of it. Obviously, I think one of the reasons why, because um, I think there's like this kind of thinking that oh, if we can get rid of like tobacco, no one will smoke anymore. Hence, no one will smoke weed anymore. And we can sort of, um, you know, just keep pushing, you know, uh, dangerous pharmaceuticals and um, mm. random, like, yeah, dangerous um, psychiatric drugs, medications, instead of um, the many applications of cannabis in mental health. Um, also, there may be the case that um, the initial anti-smoking research was all funded by, um, well, petroleum companies, oil companies, prior to the invent or twenty years prior to the invention of the catalytic converter, to sort of distract the population away from the obvious obvious facts that back then the overwhelming majority of lung cancer cases would very likely have been caused by emissions from cars and probably not tobacco. And um, then there's the other ancillary sort of case to be made that the dangers associated with smoking have since come out of Big corporations pushing neonicotinoid fertilizers on tobacco farmers, a radioactive fertilizers, in order to give smokers cancer, to retroactively make it look as though that the researchers were telling the truth to begin with, which is idiocy. Which well, is very, it's very evil. That's all it is, and um, yeah. Don't ever let them take tobacco from us. Tobacco is a cool drug. It's a rebel's drug, and it always has been. Except when everyone did it. So it's not a rebel's drug. Well, it is a rebel's drug now. It's a drug for the rebellious now. It's this hegemony of clean living, prissy, paranoid, must get rid of 99.9% .9 of bacteria, cleanliness, like fucktard, Cunt gay people, and you know your crap, and you know clean living, and yeah, we we want plants and things, and marijuana and mushrooms, and all natural growing stuff that grows on the ground. It might be a bit dirty, and we're like you know doing our plants or gardening or whatever, getting out in the countryside, in muddy puddles and so on. And then everything doesn't need to be fucking sterilised. So, meh. Thank you, bye.